We have to stretch these depths. Uh, I don't want to go Fair there. English? Can we turn around? That's impossible. Drop listing. Angler wanted. You can't because there's a cooldown. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, maybe we shouldn't go and work here as an angler. Also, <laughs> how did we manage to literally crash into the lighthouse? <laughs> Thank you to see light. Cheers. Right, Monday, day one. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit up. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the way. The bay, whatever, way, all that stuff. Really? Ooh, gotcha, Cody. Thanks for letting me know. Did you not see the lighthouse? Nope, apparently we didn't. We didn't. It was shining right at you. Ah, well. I'm glad to see a new fisherman up uh, upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. Oh, that's why we have to upgrade our boat. I see. Because we smashed our shiny good boat. Now we have broken crappy bro boat. Lovely. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of uh, out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Pursuit. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Alright. Undock. Woo! Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we're, we're okay. We've got, we, we've got control of the camera, though. Ooh, I can... Okay, check settings. I have control of the camera, though. So, using the boat overrides it a little bit. That's not too bad. No, I think I can deal with this. Uh, move to fishing spot and then press F. F to pay respects to fish. Ooh, disturb water. Coastal. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. Looks like the accessibility options help. Yeah, I turned off screen shake. Uh, for example. Ah, I have the things for this. Start fishing. Okay, blue mackerel. Oh, and then I and I and then, then we Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> I love how it just, just bounces around. That's great. Boop 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 boop. boop. Sorry. <laughs> I don't quite get how the fishing game works. This here. Because clearly I need to hit it when it's green. But does that mean... I already pull then or I make it go faster? Don't have the right things for this. So I don't quite like this. The camera when it does that. Like the slow pan down and slow pan up. But besides this, it's still okay for now. Ooh, cod. Ooh, tasty cod. All right, that sounds good. Seasickness the sim. The spot has been de depleted. There's a bottle. Oh yeah. I wish... So, when you drive around... 
Oh. No. Ah, manual. Oh, cool. That's that's just what I that's what I meant. Now I can control the camera. Perfect. Time already advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Select the item. 20th August, 1927. Added to the cabin. Alright. Alright, I also realized... I do need to confine the cursor. Because otherwise it just goes everywhere because of the turning of the thing. But alright. Hi, the Kremlin! Fishing without the pools. Yeah, we'll just eat more of the daylight hours. Yep, looks like it. Camera still turns though, if you're going left and right, but... No, no, I can, I can deal with this camera. I can deal with this camera. They have, they have some... Shapes in the deep. Okay, don't have enough. Don't have the equipment. I can deal with this camera. Nope. Darn it. There we go. Alright, we'll just... Fish up all the mackerels, I suppose. Until we're full. Okay, I can pick up stuff again. Good. The Tetris fish around. This is cute, yeah. Oh, can I? Oh, oh, that's good. I can. Uh, I don't see it. Oh. Hmm. No, it still does this when you're going left and right. So, what I want is when I go, when I press A and D, it not to move the camera around. But, okay. Hi, Kazad! Hi, Raiders! Hello, hello! Welcome! How's it going? We're fishing! We're fishing right now. Thank you so much for the raid, Kazad. I really appreciate it. Hey, Minstrel! Hello! How are you today? Ooh, select your lights by loading E. Has lights help you see, but make you more visible too. Ooh, ominous. No, 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 no. I don't want tank controls. I want, I want... Basically... Just let me control the boat with my mouse. How's it going? Earth from another sun. How was that? How was that, Kaz? I've, I've seen that as well. Uh, but yeah. Hi. Welcome, Raiders. We're also checking out demos. Uh, and this is Dredge, which is a... Dark narrative story-based fishing game. Also, oh my god. W what? Okay. Lights. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will make it decrease. Oh boy. So, there is something sinister that also, sinister that also goes on in this game. It was so bad. Oh really? Oh, okay. Well then I won't, I won't bother with it. <laughs> but yeah, this is cool. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, for, for coming on over. It's good to see you, Mr. I hope you've been well. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You know, it looks super awesome, but it was basically a browser game. I see, I see. Basically, the Kremlin. Yeah, that's, I think, what we were doing. We were like, ah, ah, Mm. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me almost of how Deluvian Winds played. Except that instead of combat or mobile game things, it was just cutscenes. 
It was, you have 30 seconds of gameplay and then it's just cutscenes for the rest of the time. For the next five minutes and then you have another 30 seconds gameplay and then cutscenes again. <clears throat> Alright, dock worker. You look lost, fisherman. Are you after somewhere to sell your catch? Great Samaro is on the west side of the bay. Keep an eye on the lighthouse, eh? Wouldn't want to lose sight of it for too long. Oh, this is Little Marrow. You enter a bright little shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... Oh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I do not. Ah. It's bad. Oh, is it? Oh, that sucks. So. Oh, yeah, we want to go over there. So yeah, what I want is just when I press A and D, the camera not to turn. I just want to go forward and then adjust the camera myself. Also, what the heck is that? That red thing right there? I'm getting tutorialed. Yes, I think so too. So we're just going to dock here. You step onto the deck. Uh, not deck, dock. You find your boss and your administrative assistant out with COVID, so now you're having to do the scheduling. Hooray for ho working from home for a bit. Ooh, yay, you get to stick around for us, with us, for now. Woohoo, that's awesome. That is awesome. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessels. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. I'd love to live in a small coastal town like that, minus the whole Lovecraft horror thing. Yeah, also uh, I need the good internet. But besides that, yeah, I'd be down too. Is this game, the floating in space, the camera even worse, instead of fishing you're shooting cannons from broadsides. Like an old pirate game, so, oh, yeah, okay, that doesn't sound fast. Fa fast? Fart? Fun is the word that I'm looking for. Fast fart fun. Indeed. There you go. Anyways, until your death is paid off, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Selling fish helps the town pays off my debt. Got it. Pew! Pew, 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 pew. Hi, Ghoul! Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Whoa, 24 fish, 24 hour fishmonger. Fancy. <laughs> Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Oh my god, I thought this was a bug on my on my on my monitor. But no, this is this is in the game. Oh my god, I th oh no! <laughs> hmm. Goodness. Fresh fish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Researchers researching schooling <coughs> fish found that they communicate by producing what they dubbed fast repetitive ticks. Ferts. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Mm. Hey, awesome, Zonora. Well done. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. 
You don't know fishermen, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns and other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you got. Okay, just sell all fish. There we go. Done. Alright, I mean, we got a hundred bucks, so it's not bad. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to write for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm some. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? It's a research part. A curious looking component. It would be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at the dock first. I must take these items. Hmm. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Hi, Pika. Yeah, this gives me totally um, Sunless Sea. Sunless, um, just the Sunless series vibes. But with fishing and whatnot. I'm okay. And besides that, we're just not gonna, you know... Sunless Sea, Beyond the Darkest Dungeon aesthetic. A little bit, yeah. But I dig it. I dig it. Because it has freaking fishing. I dig it. I dig it. <clears throat> As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly, before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or, you know, any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she, cur she is currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look round. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So, plan ahead. Simple skimmer for shallow. Basic fishing pole for coastal. Weighted line for shallow. Fishing speeds up. Okay, I don't have enough money. Rusty outboard engine. Plus 10 knot speed. This one's 14. Oh, lights. I lumens. I feel like I should buy a light. Because it told me to turn the light on. And... I didn't have one. There we go. I'm gonna install that. Undock rest research. Hmm. This is all not available in the demo, so yeah. There we go. I can indeed put it in there. Because it's not... Ah! Alright, this is not a cabin. Encyclopedia. Whoa! Coastal? Shallow? Oceanic? Abyssal? Hadal Volcanic Mangrove. There are... 300 and... Uh, what? 128 fish? There are 128 different fish. Aberrations? Exotic. Open ocean. Devil spine twisted. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. 
and then you found random messages floating in the sea. You love how mangrove is better than going to buddies. <laughs> Fantastic, fan heckin tastic Bad spot, well done. That was good. That was good. That is that. That's good. That's a good one. I like it. All right, the twentieth of August, nineteen twenty-seven, morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today, we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. You want to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean, Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under the blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. There are 12 different messages that we can find. I assume that's um, in the demo. They have dead, Alaska region, what happened to the last fisherman? What happened to the last fisherman? He was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around on a reef, uh, running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Whoa, okay. Well, off we go. Yeah, that sounds like a... There we go. Yeah, see, now we have a light. We're gonna turn the lights off. We don't need it right now. He was hearing the call of the of Dagon? Maybe, yeah. Hi, Infinity Simplex. It is, yes. This is Dredge. This is Dredge. It's a think like sunless seas, but in, but instead of stories, there's fishing. It's great, actually. So far, I'm really digging it. This might be so far the highlight of my day so far. Yeah, this sounds like a warning, definitely. Ooh. This one's difficult. This this card was difficult. Alright. I don't know why it amuses me so much that when you turn the fish around, it wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. What about the bonus cat? Fair enough. Fair enough. Bonus cat that's still here, by the way. <laughs> Whoops! We're gonna try a game called Chonky. Don't do it. Oh. Was it not good? What was what kind of game was that? I don't know if I can go past here. This almost looks like end of the demo. Kind of adventure game in the future. Whoa, the time is going by fast. I just wanted to explore a little bit. More cod, eh? I would assume that cod is gonna sell pretty well. Hey, Shen. Again. 
Happy Teachers Day to all the teachers. Yes, spoke you all rock FG's Notte. Notte? <laughs> Good. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Do I have a map? Oh, I do have a map. Oh. oh. I mean, I can go here, though. I can go there. Okay, let's, but now let's go to the lighthouse. Yes, exclamation mark demo. Exclamation mark demo gives you a list. There we go. We're going to turn the panic down. I'm just waiting to see. I'm just waiting for the cosmic horrors. You can look at them. Ooh! Okay, that's good. Yeah, I wish, really wish I could turn off the camera moving with the whole going left and right thing. That's like the only thing that's like problematic. Like, besides that, the camera is fine. But yeah, thank you so much, Goo. I really appreciate it. So all the games that have, um, all the games that have an emoji next to them, we've played. But a special order come through from a customer. If you could fulfill it, I'll pay you above the normal prices. Actually, did I put... Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Sorry. Uh, tell me about the order. They asked for a golf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them when, when you have them. You need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch them. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Have you seen that strange red light at night? I have. It seems to be rising from the west. I have seen it, yeah. Sell all fish. Uh, if you have suggestions, uh, you can drop them in the Discord as well. Um, yeah, that. It's 150. I can't quite afford it. We haven't found anything new. There's no research to do, so we can sleep until dawn. Hmm. Well, hello there. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Fishing? There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Just the person I was hoping to see. We will be sailing out east towards Little Marrow. Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Yes. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Ew! The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Well, I guess we go across the... Ah! Across the way... Bay thing... Our boat must be so slow considering how fast the time passes. Oh, wait, what's this? Why does it have a question mark? A floating, bu a floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Ah, okay. I have a, I have a job to do, but there's also fishing. <laughs> gotta go fishing. <laughs> I got a fish chat. We have our debt to pay off. Got a fish. Whoa, wait, what's this? It's a grotesque mackerel. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes. Yeah, like nothing you've seen before. Ooh. It's getting interesting now. It's getting interesting now. 
I see how it is. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop over here now. That's, yeah, so when you're fishing, the clock speeds up. Yeah. No, this is not a cult. We do like fishing though. I don't know, Zan Rebel. We don't, we haven't learned that yet. I'm gonna sneeze one moment. Or maybe. <coughs> nope, there it was. <clears throat> Hmm. What? <laughs> hmm. What? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. Thank you, Gig uh, thank you, Aloof Hamster. We can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah. Nice and fresh. This will do nicely. <laughs> I'm to pay you, I suppose. He has you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back. But it didn't make much sense to me. You surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. It's storage, right? To see the books? Yeah. Okay, so, okay. Show the fish manga, right? Was it a friendly sound command or was it actually Lex? Neither. That was a mystery. Which we all know is Lex. So it was Lex, but it wasn't. Got it. Uh, sustainable fishing. Oh. So I read this and I pass the time. Ah, gotcha. So we're reading this while we're moving along. I don't have the right things to fish that. I see, I see, I see, I see. All seeing cod. That's some very big eyes you've got there. Mr. Cod? Mrs. Cod? Okay, now it's getting to the point where we just get spooky. I really dig this though. I dig this so far. This is great. A trophy cord. This is a 1.2 meter long cod. It's the cod father? I think so. I think so. And we just fished up all of the fishies. That's probably not a good idea to do, I would assume. Gonna make me an offer that I can't refuse. Yep. Yeah, I wish it really wouldn't do this whole turn the camera when you're clicking A and D. Uh summary optional does that work um what do they call it wait what do they call it recenter recenter behavior that's how they call it all right uh recenter behavior uh make recenter behavior toggle Effects both up and down as well as sideways movements. There we go. That's my feedback. Because it's it's already it already does it for this. It just doesn't do it for this for some reason. Don't know why. Unless maybe turning dead zone needs to be... No, whoa, that's that's worse. That's so much worse! Yeah, that'd be great. Because it already does it for this... ...view. 
The process hasn't, hasn't, doesn't have a custom cursor. Might not, might just not be in the demo. Might just not be in the demo. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small, small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Ah. Oh no! Oh no, you get denied because it's so stupid because it's a gifted sub, right? Is it a multi-month gifted sub pair writer that still doesn't work with the alerts for some reason because they don't understand? But um, let me let me take over the duty of TTS for you. Only eins, 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 and bingo, was his name all? There you go. <laughs> Sorry, pair writer. Multi-month gifted subs just break the alerts. Uh, the alerts just don't understand understand them. Which is really annoying. But uh, welcome back for uh, 11 months. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the for, for uh, the continued support and for being here and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Almost a year, Pale Writer. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy already? That's been uh, that long already. All right, sell all fish. I think I may have paid off my debts as well, which is cool. All right. I swear, the silly Odin cat. Uh, a man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Spoopy! Oh my god, I've read 25% of the book. Alright, down there. Alright. This is a big map. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for this project. Lumber, metal scrapes, scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get them? 
There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Oh. Select an upgrade to begin be, uh, again adding materials to it. Howdy, partner. Not available in demo. Sad face. Sad face. Have a wonderful nap. Uh, have a wonderful nap, uh, Kalza. Thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. I hope you get some good rest. Thanks for hanging out. And thanks for coming over the raid. What's this? Not doable for me. Choo choo. No, it's not a train friendly. Pretty sure it's not a train. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a train. Yeah. Yeah, I've learned this is not a train. What game is this? Dredge. It's called Dredge. No, Bosco, toot toot. Not choo choo. Ruined Mansion. No, they, they, they go toot toot. I mean, they, they literally have a foghorn, right? So they go, nerd! Actually, I that's probably it. They actually go, nerd, nerd. Not toot toot, not choo choo. They go, nerd, nerd. That's what they do. Newt, newt, yep. <laughs> like Pingu, yep. Like Pingu, just louder. Uh, they're penguins? Yeah. You heard it here first. All boats are penguins. <laughs> oh, boy. FG is not silly today. No. I would never. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding, he's, he's holding an old book. He's holding an old book in his hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. Me fail English? That's impossible. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures, and truths and curios that occupy the periphery of desire and you have something for me you give the handkerchief to the collector he holds it up to the flickering light and studies it these patterns are unmistakable even after all this time this handkerchief comes from an old ship i've been searching for it sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. How's Dredge so far? Really, really good. I, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. It's great. It's really good. The mood's great. There's fishing. I. It's, it's great. This is totally... This is so far the high... Like, I know Mana Lords was good, but this is the highlight of my day so far. This one's good. This one's really good. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will, you let, uh, will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, 
a watch, a music box, and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. All right, now uh, we gotta go do some fishing. Wait, there's a bottle over there, right? Shoot, shoot. No, toot, toot. Toot, toot. It goes toot, toot. This is a boat. Okay, a new bottle. Ooh, what's this? Dredge! Start dredging. Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. I see how that works. An old iron chain. Ah, I get how that works. Now, gotcha. Did I didn't drop by? Uh, he's been here for the last like seven hours. <laughs> He's still... Oh, God. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Panic! Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was suddenly, like, super panic mode. Uh... There more here? I should probably start to go back to our village. Are we still afloat? Yes. A bolt of cloth. But we do need to get uh, back. We need to go back home now. Wait! There's somebody else there! They're tooting as well! Yes, it does that at night. We have a foghorn! Uh, it does that at night because that's where the cosmic horrors come out. Um, where are we going? Oh god, we gotta go. We gotta go around. I don't even see the lighthouse right now. Oh my lord. So yeah, if you have thalassophobia, this game might not be for you. Oh, it's right here. Cosmic Horrors, yes. There was some Lovecraftian stuff going on here. No, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm fishing! That's what I am. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be out at night. Uh, fishing. But we are anyways. Snag squids. Oh, that looks terrifying. It's such a dread as your only fear perk. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Uh, hi, Thoughtful. How are you? Nah, I dig this. This is great. Alright, reading complete. Check the cabin for bonuses. Alright. I still can't tell if the eye at the top is our eye or somebody, something else's, somebody else's eye. Back to the fishmonger. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. So yeah, uh, if anybody's wondering who the heck is Odin, it's our neighbor's cat, and they're still. That that's what that that's that's this is still what they're doing right now. And they're just sleeping. And they're just being really cute and sleeping. I guess. 
I don't feel it's super duper obvious to see what it's like showing me though, if that makes sense. But I guess so, yeah. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Well, thanks, I guess. What is it? Do you know any of any or do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I'm think what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. You live on Blackstone Isle. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. The Builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dark side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Yeah, it's, it's peaceful. I mean, fishing's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I, I, mm -hmm. You know, except for the existential dread that sets in at night. But besides that, it's great. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. It's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Seal Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Alright, sure. Uh, my storage. So, we read this. Ah! So we read sustainable fishing. There's a 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. I see, I see, I see. Also, big stretch. Mm. Oh, that was a big stretch. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a big one. I still need to crack my back or rather my neck. It's all stuck and being stupid, but that was a good stretch. Hi, Finnan. Hello, Lord. How are you? How's it going? What thoughtful? Do you never crack your back your neck? There you go. <laughs> all right. Next up. Rods, reels, and rigs. Messages. 21st of August, 1927. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It didn't penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We didn't see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes for the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Womp womp womp! Up there, got it. All right, sleepy time! She has the key. She is gonna do my soul. Yep. Shallow. That's also shallow. I'm gonna. I'm gonna install the weighted line. Uh, 
Apparently for some reason has to be around that way. But alright, cool. Let's leave. No, not sleeping. Leaving. It's so bright. It's so bright. Right, stock is low. Right, already got a blue mackerel. See, I want to try something in the, uh, like fishing in the shallows. Check out our new. Oh, this is a new fish. It's an eel, a gray eel. Yeah. Okay, it's three uh, long, three by one. Got it. I see. I see. I see. I see. I want to go through here. I want to see if there's anything left back here that we can dredge. Because for some reason, our boat doesn't have running costs. So we don't have to worry about fuel, which is convenient, to say the least. And there's more eels, isn't it? A barbed eel? That's a different type of eel. Oh, that's the a spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Honk. Honk. Mm, inspect. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Look inside. Ooh. I found lumber. Iron chain. Ooh, I found stuff, chat. Oh, I need space for this. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll go pick it up later, I guess. Is this... That was steel, the steel island, right? Or whatever, steel point or whatever it was called? I want to say. Over here, where she wanted the house. So I think I can drop off a lumber there, and then we have space. Again. Maybe. So, where is the drop-off point? Hmm. Don't know where the- Ah! Shoot! Don't know where the drop-off point is. Here. Doesn't say. Do you know where the drop off point is or is it over here? I think I see it. Choo choo. We're on a train. We go Hong Kong. I'm not seeing the dock then. It's so dark. Oh, there's spoopy music. Or other boats. Oh. Okay, let's not go fast. Fast, fast. Oh. Oh, we're going, we're going crazy. There we go. We were we were in the fog for a very long time there. Yeah. You could see like we were slowly going crazy. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes, I do. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Deliver the fish. Done. Now it's regular business, eh? Indeed. Sell our fish. All right, money. Hey, we turn out the lights. Hey, we can repair that. Repair all. Whoa. Okay, I want to repair. Yeah, I'm gonna. Re 
repair. Let's see, dry dock. Hi, Guru! Oh, we could also just do that. Oh, yeah, but not available in the dem demo. Never mind! Never mind. Why has no one ever done this? Ah, oh, there is another sp sort of spooky fishing game. Oh, what is it called? Is it Fishing Vacation? Fishing Vacation. Yeah, you might enjoy Fishing Vacation. Yeah, it's a Game Boy styled fishing adventure. You might enjoy that one. How you doing today, Guru? Good to see you. Well, I guess there's a storm rolling in. Hi, Pumu. Out to the north. Up there, okay. Oh, that's Sunlessy. Yeah. Hi, Moopin. Hello, hello. It's a ship game that you decided to ignore. You shouldn't have. It's really good. It's, uh. It's like Sunlessy, but with fishing. It's great. It's really great. It's actually probably my favorite game of what we've played today so far. It's fantastic. I dig this. So I guess we deliver it here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Very nice. Just needs a bit of a better camera control, so not to trigger simulation sickness as much, but it's good. It's really good. I really enjoy it. Alright, start dredging. Oh, shoot! I forgot to... I forgot to change my title. Thanks. This is not that game. This is dredge. Sorry. I totally forgot to change my title. Uh, my, my title. There you go. I know this is Dredge. This is not that. We played that one before. Ooh, we found a little drinking thing. Goblet of fire. Yeah, we found a little goblet. Sorry. I, I switched the game category. Didn't really update my title properly. Sorry about that. Ooh, more lumber. Flat Eye was really good too, though. Also, a really good, uh, cool uh, story based game. This is really good, though. Yeah, we're gonna play this when this comes out, chat. This is, I, I dig this. Oh, 2023! No! Why? Why 2023? No! <laughs> so far away, yep. Ooh. How do you get to your cabin then? Is cabin only in the... in um when you're docked i guess it must be tab yeah well done rods will re fish uh, will real fish in 10 percent more effectively ah uh, it is indeed tab thanks chat there's no, no new one right ah okay a lot of these quests we can't actually do because they're not in the game in the demo
So we'll dock over here for now. Because we have some items for the collector over here as well, I think. Or the trader. But anything special lately? Got all my trinkets. Ah! Grieving father. Hello. Is everything okay? Do you know anything of shipwrecks around here? Well, yes. You see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He is still out there somewhere. Yes, absolutely, Fallon. Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's fantastic. I'm digging this so much. So clever. A fishing game, but there's also a story and it's just amazing. I love it. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos... I'd feel... He'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle specially engraved. Uh... We already did that. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Give the belt buckle to the man. You give the belt buckle to the man. This... This is his! Oh, thank you! Bless you! You've returned him to me. Please... Take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. A research part. Not that I need it for now. I can use it in the demo, but that's good to know. Uh, what do you know about any... Do you know anything about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. Now this game's FAQ. I found everything in the demo. Bet you haven't. <laughs> that's great. I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen. Howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. I'd better go. I am also gonna go because... Well, go, metaphorically speaking. Because I don't want to get spoiled for when the full game comes out. I don't want to get spoiled... Because I want to, when this comes out, I want to play the entire game and not know already how to do half of, well, not half of it, but everything that's now in the demo. Because this is really good. I really dig it. Thumbs up. 10 out of 10. Best game today so far. This is really good. This is really, 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 really good. 